loud. Brendan, Carolyn, it all started with this video right here that went viral on Facebook. After seeing this, the National Action Network reached out to the Charleston County Sheriff's Office to seek justice. The question that led to this. According to the sheriff's office, while off duty and in line at Murphy's gas station, Deputy Jeffrey Stokes saw what seemed to be a little bag of white powder in Lamont Simmons' left pocket. The incident report says Deputy Stokes approached Simmons and he immediately resisted arrest. In surveillance video released Monday, you can hear the deputy telling Simmons to stop. Stop! Stop! The National Action Network saw this surveillance video today and says this is another act of police brutality. This could have been another Eric Gardner, somebody that was choked to death. Simmons' mom says this was a hard pill to swallow. It's hurtful. You see this go on with Walter Scott, Eric Gardner, all these other ones. I never thought it would hit home um, with my son. Chief Eric Watson of the Charleston County Sheriff's Office says the department never takes police-involved altercations lightly. The day uh, that this incident occurred, we immediately initiated an internal affairs investigation. We take any action of our employees very seriously, especially when it's, when it's uh, use of forces initiated. After being treated for his injury, Simmons was arrested for possession of cocaine with the intent to distribute. We don't condone what he does, uh, what, he, what he was uh, actually uh, arrested for. But Nan says using a chokehold is no way to arrest a person even in possession of illegal drugs. There's a way to arrest anybody, you know, and uh, that type of uh, chokehold or technique is going to lead to this young man's death. Deputy Stokes has been put on administrative duties during the investigation. Chief Watson says the investigation could take up to two weeks. Reporting live in studio, Deanne Roberts, count on two.